Uh, my mind slips me. I, I I hope you pardon me for that. Indeed. Hey, what's up, Light and Passion? Well, uh, could you point us in the direction of this <clears throat> mysterious dragon? Oh, we are absolutely! Looking for a dragon. You just follow the path, and she, you know, she just kind of points towards the path that the Griffins have been already, you know, pretty much tracking on, and she says, "When the trail ends, you will find this dragon." And she says, I will help you, and I will grant you a blessing for your journeys. It's good, so good to know that there are good people in the world still. So she yeah. reaches into her pouch, and she says, oh my, I oh think boy. I've, I think I've mis, misplaced my, my flowers. Oh, mi Widow, did you swipe her blessing? Excuse, uh, I excuse, your pardon. Probably, excuse it's me. Probably under the tree or something. Uh, uh, disregard the, the would be just, elf. Just take a look over around. It's probably on the ground. I'm sure somewhere. it's around here somewhere for you. Here, I hope you look. Oh well, that would be, that be wonderful. Thank you. I know uh, I had just picked some beautiful dandelions this morning from the forest. Oh, oh dandelions, okay. Yes. Uh, maybe over here. Yes. Uh, while she's dragging her off, I'm I'm going to well, I because I, I can't because there's tree ants staring Roll me for down. Put pocketing. Not pick, pick, putting them back Go in the pocket. Yeah, I'm that's put. Try put to... pocketing. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get down by the tree. Uh -huh. And so, here, let me help you look while while you you guys check over here. I'll check over in in this direction, <laughs> and I'm gonna like block the treants view for you know like put my body in between them so they can't see what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna pretend like I I found them and picked. Oh wait wait here they are. And oh wonderful up. wonderful sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking. For, oh that is oh they're so beautiful. They, oh, you found them. They, al they, they allowed me to take them this morning. And, you know, you have this... It was like a like a bundle, Widow. And it was sort of like a like a, a very light piece of cloth. And these dandelions were basically in this handkerchief. And there's about... You know, you notice there's about, uh, about a dozen of them. So... Galadriel, as you as you hand them over to her, she thanks you. You know, kind of grabs your hand, and you can you know feel a sense uh, like a warm sensation when she kind of grabs your hand and thanks you. So she starts to take these dandelions, and she starts to whittle them, and you know she's using her hands and she's making a sort of like a like a like a like a wreath that or not a wreath but like a a mesh, circlet. like sort of like a no, not a circle, but like a necklace. It, it and she lays one over all of you, and you guys are watching her. Just this takes her. I mean, she is working so quickly. I mean, she's definitely done this before. You can tell, and she makes these necklaces and and puts them on all of you, and all of you can feel like a sense of calm as she puts these, you know. Necklaces made of like a like a an earthen garland on you, and then she transforms into an owl, and her tree companions start to slink back into the the depths of the forest, and she says to you, "Thank you again, my friends, and may your journey be safe." And then she just flies away. God damn it, that, you wouldn't know the one weird. time I had a successful pickpocket. Oh, <laughs> plus she was an ally, I should have asked how many licks before. it took. Sorry, go ahead, Bay. No, I was, I was wondering what these were for, but she disappeared before I asked. Do you know what this necklace does, other than if me a rash? I think it's a <laughs> necklace of bless. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think I think it's something we could, if we get hungry. You could probably do a an arcane yeah, check. I wish I wish I would have asked her how many licks until she get to the center of a Tootsie Pop when she was an owl. Twenty four <laughs> Three <laughs> Oh god damn it. Well, shitty roll there. It's gonna be one of those days. Yep, all I feel is the rash. You you most certainly do. Let me give you one of those. We haven't heard this in a while. <laughs> so 
I feel a little bit concerned that we just met somebody in the woods and then put on magic based on what they what's to think that we're not cursed what? well what? have your legs fallen off oh okay yeah that's the only way that yeah. a curse will work that's right uh, it, ha it happened I, I knew some of what, it what got cursed his legs fell off wow Tiberius <clears throat> won't you take a look at the necklace and see if you can determine its origin purpose I'll take I'll take you know this kind of reminds shot? me these necklaces kind of reminds me a little bit uh, uh, this religious bless that we used to do back in the old uh, ye old times. <laughs> let me uh, let me just go ye, ahead. And... Ye old times. <laughs> ye old times. <laughs> Boom! Religion check. Success. Well, yeah, you're. Uh, oh, so it was uh, successful, huh? Well, uh, actually, you do not know. know what what is on you, but you do sense. Good. You you do not sense any right. type of evil. You do not sense a curse. Yeah, I don't think this is cursed, Vey. And it actually feels kind of nice, but I don't know how strong these a necklace made out of dandelions is. I my my sister used to do all of a bunch of these when she was really little. I Always will little. say this now. Whenever you get back over to the Griffins, they don't even acknowledge that you were there. What? I'm they putting my hands in front of the griffin's face. Nothing. Are we all invisible. Doesn't even flinch. Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, yeah. See, see, that, that's what you get for from an emo, emo priest. Oh, am I invisible? So the griffins are squawking a little bit. They seem a little on edge, and they're kind of fluffing their wings a little bit. And and the rider says, "Oh, who's out there? Who's out there?" I take my, I take my necklace off. Okay, you appear. This is oh, there you are, lass. Where where is wow. everyone else? It's a necklace oh, of Griffin stealth. Make us invisible, guys. Well, I'm gonna take mine off and put it in my uh, backpack. I will same. do the same, Dave. Well, I'm gonna keep mine on. It's really useful. <laughs> okay. Besides, if I start faffing about with with dandelions with my big big stompy hands, I'll probably break it. These are pretty brittle. These these necklaces are are definitely brittle. They they do not look like they will last for uh, too long. Well, we should make our way to the dragon. As she has pointed out to us, let's make haste. Yeah. We let the Griffin riders know, you know, to follow this trail. Okay. So everybody else is basically keeping their their necklace on, except for except for Vey, right? No, oh, mine's. Well. I took um, Tiberius and I took ours off. Okay. Sounds good. I plan on putting mine back on before we get to our destination. Though. Okay. But so, I need to communicate with the riders and all. All right. So the trail ends in in like a uh, you travel another fifteen or so miles through the you know the misty forest, beautiful trees. the The rain is still coming down. It seems like the rain is coming down a little bit harder now. And you come to at the end of your journey, you come to a an opening, probably about fifteen twenty five feet nice circular opening and you can tell that there's been a lot of activity here lately, quite a bit of activity. you can see scraps of trash and uh, you can see several opened ration packages uh, there are you know scraps of linen. Looks like uh, bandages. You don't see any blood or anything like that. But you do notice that there is a sort of like a, a, a matted down trail that is going into the forest. Kind of in a different, couple different directions. But it seems like all of these multiple trails are, are still kind of traveling towards the south. So this matted down trail uh, is it? I mean, how big is it? Are, are we thinking that it's a it's so large that a dragon was walking this way, or does it look hey, like Wolverine? What's up? You know, Good to see you, man. Bunnies or or other kind of woodland creatures that just were like a deer laying. Well, give me a survival check. Let's see. Let's see how your survival skills are, Tiberius. No, like everything else, Dave. I, I should make you roll survival with disadvantage because you're a privileged noble that's lived in water deep his whole life. Do it, Dave. Yeah, you you definitely have no clue uh, 
No clue. You don't know if it's animals. Uh, it, it, I'll, I'll tell you this. It is not wide enough for a dragon. Like as in what Widow had reported back to you, the trail that she had seen going from Alt Alton to the, the opening at night where uh, Garen had, had led her. Or Gallon, I'm sorry. Warden Gallon. So what about the hippogriffs? Are they acting strange at all, or are they about no. the same? No, they're 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 more worried about trying to stay out of the, you know, stay out of the the rain. Well, not the the griffins. The griffins don't care. It's the the riders there. You know, they've they've brought supplies with them also. So you can you you can see that the riders they're kind of setting up like a like a tent, a couple different tents, or a sort of like a uh, uh, not a full blown tent, but sort of just like a uh, like a party tent to where they can just get out of the rain. Okay, so so I'm assuming since the Griffin riders are setting up tents that we're going to make camp here. What time of day is it? Is it around night? It's no, it, it's still middle morning. It's not even okay. not even noon yet. No, it's just So middle. they're just wanting to stop. Yeah, well, this is this is where the path ends. Oh, okay. we have arrived at the end of this trail that the druid has pointed us. I oh. say we put our necklaces on and proceed. What okay. druid? I'll, I'll definitely do Is that. Is that what the halfling was? A, a damn druid. You can never trust druids. <laughs> <laughs> it most definitely was a druid. Yeah, talk, talk now. All this talking, the talking the like trees and little bunny rabbits. You can never trust them. <laughs> it smelled like a uh, bio and patchouli. It's definitely a druid. <laughs> so you guys all have inspiration except for Widow. She used her inspiration last week. Okay, I'm gonna put my uh my A very my well necklace. spent inspiration point, I will say that. And sorry to interrupt you, Tiberius. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, I, I still wake up thinking what a great job that inspiration point was. So I'm going to put my necklace of uh, dandelions on, but gently and cautiously, make sure I don't break it. And then I'll look at my hands, I'm assuming that I've just been stealthed in some manner. And uh, uh, I'm going to start following everybody a little bit into the bush, or the trees, the bushes and stuff. Heading into the bush, huh? Heading put into the mine bush, baby. as well, but I'm actually going to like pull my... Um, clothing around it a little bit so they try to avoid it from getting wet as much as possible. Yeah, I don't think dandelions are used to being wet. Alright. Well, I no, I just meant I didn't want them to be... Shut up. Damaged by the, by the heavy rain, what is not here. No, you're but right. It might yeah. turn up. Well, well, it is raining. Exactly. It might, might, be, might be acid, right? It's definitely not a... Well, you, eh. Some it depends on the severity right. of the acid rain. Some you may tell a little bit now, but you've been in the rain for a couple hours now. Have so my legs fallen off? No, they haven't. You don't even feel any bad uh, sensation. That's fine then. That's yeah. good. Now, would I, why don't you go ahead and have a look for the dragon? And if you find it, run away. <laughs> you being the the sneaky, sneaky, stealth in type. Well, I don't suspect the dragon would just be lying around. It's probably in a cave somewhere. Well, then she can find a cave. It's, it's not difficult. How difficult can it be to find a cave? Or a hole in the ground or something. Well, maybe we should stick together until we find the cave, and then I can always go check it out. I think that's a wonderful idea. However, you Fair probably enough. should proceed. You probably can track better than the rest of us. I don't know about that, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> well, I did take a tracking class back at uh, back in Waterdeep, one of my many many trainings as a noble. So I'm probably the best tracker here. Just FYI, I did take a class. Well, about. let's all fight. I'm certified. Over. Let's see who can do tracker. it the best. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lean down and kind of check the uh, temperature of the padded the padded down area. Then I'll pick a little bit of dirt and smush it in my fingers like this. Maybe maybe taste it a little bit. Check the air. Yeah, I think there's some animals that were here. 
And I think... Oh, uh, well done. In a forest, yeah. there might have been some animals. That's right. And, because and you're you eating know, shit. No, oh my God, no! Uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna, them, I'll them do a survival. Not berries. That's, that's <laughs> rabbit droppings. <laughs> But I guess since I've already I've already rolled my survival check, so uh, I think they went this way, and I'm pointing totally opposite way that that everybody's facing. Yeah, it, you're you're thinking to yourself, "Wow, I don't know if I'm really fooling these guys or not." Because <laughs> all, all you can tell is is there's a couple trails, and uh, now do you follow the trails? What do you kind of split up? Do you, because there's there's three different paths. But it looks well, like, would, you know, they're all kind of going in a, you know, a southerly direction. So we, we do we do have um, these or even that we can sort of communicate, plus we have Tiberius' message spell. Um, we could An always split shot. up. I don't know if I feel comfortable about splitting up in the woods, just in case we run into Wuss. some treants. Well, you know, those yeah. things are pretty buff. But, we, but you do have a necklace of invisibility. That's true, but maybe if we break up in a, a group of four, then no. maybe maybe two groups of two, we can we can cover two things that way. Uh, let's well, just uh, take one of the trails. We have a fifty percent chance of being successful. Well, it's actually a thirty-three point three recurring chance of being there's three successful. Trails. Oh, there's wow, three. Oh. Trump! You just mathed that like a oh, son well, of a. I thought there were that was fantastic. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's because that that the elf. Teached me what out out of camp. Well, don't free. we have a tracker in our group? No, it's been tracking the dragon. Or One of the the griffin. Uh, the it was the the griffins actually were basically following the the trail. Now the griffin oh. rider he he says, uh, "I've I've been around the forest quite a bit. I'm I'm sure that I could help you find the location." And he you know he stops. Helping the other riders, there's you know there's four griffins, so he oh, starts. Oh good, C come mm -hmm. with us. Uh, we want to make you go into the the cave with us, but if you can point us in the right direction, be nice. All right, sure. So the the rider, he you know he starts to get down and look at the the paths, and he says, "Well, uh, it's been matted down fairly recently," and you know he he points out that there's a couple broken twigs on the ground and then he starts getting into the technicalities. Uh, you can tell that and you're just like, alright, dude, just just show us, you know. He's like, oh, you can tell with the color of the the you know, the wood, whenever the twig snaps and, and you guys are just yeah, like, yeah, just, just, just pay attention to this. <laughs> it's exactly what I just finished saying. And then they went that way. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are traveling down this path, and then all of a, you know, after I'd say probably a couple hundred yards, you start to see that there are a couple other intersecting paths to this to this main path. Or were you on one of the secondary paths that intersected into the primary path? But you continue to travel, and and it's probably wait, wait, Dave, wait. I may want to mm -hmm. I want to break some as I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I might want to. Make some indication that we've gone this way. Maybe oh, okay. Scratch hmm. something on the side of a tree, or yeah, the the Griffin maybe rider. Maybe break a shrub. Yeah, he he agrees with you on that because it could it would be a great idea to do that to find your way back to the camp. Just in case, I'm I'm full of great ideas. In my class, I got a straight A on uh, disguising your trail and finding your way back. That's how come uh, I know uh, about these you things. Had, you have visited a, a tracking school? Tiberius? Yep. Well, it's not really a tracking school. I had a private uh, tracking tutor. It was just like a two-week class. Wow, what was the name of the tracker? Uh, I just called him Mr. Bumbler. Uh, Mr. You know, Bumbler. Name. Oh! One of the best. Oh, one from, of the best trackers. From the Bumblers. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I recognize the name. Yeah, the, they're pretty renowned throughout Waterdeep. They're pretty fantastic. Just the best, the best. Well, there, yeah, there was a... Just recently, uh, within the last couple of months, there is a conspiracy that 
Well, anyways, that's a story that we'll save for later. Maybe on the Griffin ride back, uh, if, you know, hopefully we'll see you again and you come out of this alive, I'll tell you the story about the bumblers on the way back to Waterdeep, sir. Well, you can tell us why you're leading us to this area, because you're going to be in front here, FYI. Yeah, just because, just as, he goes, ah, what the hell, I'll tell you the story. So, just as he starts to go into the story, you can hear talking. And across the trail, briefly, and you guys are just standing there, you know, kind of talking to the Griffin Rider, and, and the Griffin Rider kind of, he notices, and, he, and then he ducks behind a tree really quick that's on the trail. And everyone else is kind of like deer in the headlights, you know, still Invisible out in the middle of this the trail. So these, these couple of these cultists, and you can tell that they are definitely cultists, because of the, the garb that they're wearing, the regalia that they're wearing. And they stand there. They just stand there and kind of look down the trail, look towards you, look towards the other way, and just kind of go off onto another intersecting trail. And they don't even notice that you're standing there. Follow them. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> tracking this far, mister. But real gynecologist. Thanks for the follow, real gynecologist. Yeah, thanks I for mean, the I'm follow. surprised you could see us. But, okay. Let's, uh, says, let's ah, do it. The writer says, Ah, that was close. Uh, it looks like there are the enemies out here in the forest. I, I'm going to make it back to the other riders. We uh, stand a better chance in numbers, so uh, just make sure you mark your way back to the camp, uh, Mr. Tiberius. And, yeah, and you wait here. Under no circumstance are you to take off and run away. We have just orders from the here. council to stay here. We will We will not abandon you. I, I can Well, I can they're having this... That conversation I'm already gone okay, yeah. <laughs> heading off down the, the, down the path the Griffin Rider heads back the other way that you guys have came okay so you guys are now going sort of like in a, a southeasterly direction and I'd just like to point out that, that, that I have got no idea what's going on where we are because there's no cobblestones around and I am absolutely rubbish in a wood well just mm. follow the rest of us no I'm just we'll going to follow, follow just, yeah I'm just going to follow the cultists <laughs> So you're following this trail for probably about another 50, 75 yards. And, you know, it's the rain is starting to lighten up a little bit at this point. The forest is, is getting a little, bit, uh, a little bit more light, is starting to, the, to shine through the top of the trees and whatnot. Now, as you keep continuing to walk, you can start to hear a sound that it sounds like water splashing. A very large amount of water splashing. And it actually sounds like a... It sounds like a waterfall ahead. I'm thirsty. Makes me, now makes me thirsty just talking about it. So as you guys continue down the trail a little bit more, you can, you know, as... as you can start to see an opening and you can see a, a very large lake probably about a almost a hundred feet across and there is a massive waterfall and I mean it's beautiful there's a sort of like a, a, a rocky uh, outcrop kind of overhanging this this river this not river but this large pool of water the water tumbling over splashing down into this lake but it, it's not a very large you know body of water so it's in maybe a hundred feet so I'm gonna give you another map so we're already on our on our second map of of the day hey Dave I do want to make sure <clears throat> I'll, I'll roll stealth in just a second but as sure. the rain was coming down and as it was starting to light up if I'm leaving footprints in the mud you know as I'm walking towards this I want to kind of make sure that I'm stepping on you know, as much grass mm -hmm. as I can, so there's not like a super thick trail that's leading all the way to where we've been walking. I got you. Yeah, you're you're not a uh, you're not on a quote unquote trail where you're on a sort of like a, a a dirt path. This is all just matted down grass, shrubs, really really thick grass where it hasn't it's been traveled, but not over enough time to make it actually a dirt trail. Okay. So you come to this lake, and the water's just pounding down over the edge of this 
this uh, rock cliff overhead, probably about a 60, 70 feet up. And the water's just just slamming down. Do you think it's the old uh, secret passage behind a waterfall kind of thing? That's what it. That's what it normally is in this kind of situation. I don't. I don't know anything about water. dragons. Yeah, I don't. Do dragons breathe underwater? Some dragon. You know that some dragons oh, can know. can can swim. You don't know if they can really travel underwater. Is it something that you think you've probably would have researched on? I mean, no, probably not. I would have never thought of it. But just now. You know that there has been, through stories and whatnot. Well, I am a scholar. There, yeah, there, there are some. Well, give me a history check. Just a very quick history check. In fact, don't even worry about that. It would be for a a scholar that would definitely be. I don't want to say common common information, but you've known that uh, you've known and read stories that. Dragons can swim underwater. They can breathe underwater. And a lot of times they access their layers through under, underground underwater labyrinths. You know, sort of like underwater passages will take yeah. them to well, their to their lair. Just as Trump said, this could most definitely be an underground entrance to a dragon's lair. Uh, Dave, I do have one spell that I've never used. It's a because it says ritual, and it's water walk, and I'm assuming mm -hmm. I can do it, but I, I'm I'm exactly unsure of the ritual. I know that it takes a longer to do, like ten minutes to prepare it. Mm -hmm. But does it take a spell slot? Uh, a, ritual, a ritual? If it it's a ritual, no, no, it, right, it, it doesn't. No. Now it, so it just like... take a, doesn't take a spell slot. It just takes you ten minutes plus the casting time, which would be ten minutes in an action. So. It would take, just take you that long. Do All we right, see so these cultists anyway? It, no, you yeah, don't have, see any cultists. You, you don't see any. You guys, if we have ten minutes... While he's doing that, I'm going to uh, prepare a ritual to, I'd like to for detect magic here. Okay. You can, can, I, can, can, I can, go ahead and just... can I see how deep the pool is? Sure, you go over to the edge of the of the pool, and it, I mean, it is it is beautiful water, Shrimp. It is a very light blue and then it goes to a dark blue because you can actually see that the water just kind of just slopes right off. You can see that, you know, the sand under a foot, two foot, three foot of water and then all of a sudden it just poof, drops off into dark blue. Hey Dave, I can also uh, uh so as I, as Trump as Trump's looking at that the last part of my ritual is I'm going to go scoop a bit of the, the water up and then, you know, kind of flick it on each of the people because I can grant up to ten people the ability to water walk with me. Okay. So I'm going to kind of flip it on them. Oh, and so, what are you doing that for? You'll, don't worry, Shrump. You'll, you'll enjoy this. And I'll when we're finished... Up and flick, it, flick it back then. <laughs> Bug at you, sir. Bug at you. <laughs> I will ask this. Now, when you perform your ritual, you will probably not be in an invisible state, if you know what I mean, because of all of the prep that you need to do, the you know ritual type of dance, the the all of the items, the dust, the chalk, whatever you're going to be using, you'd probably lose that. So, are are you doing it in the open, or are you kind of doing it off on the side, or? Well, let me look at the map again, and I would say that uh, on this map it does look like the the trees are pretty overgrown right near the water, and we did just kind of come out, and there's yeah. a bit of a shoreline, right? There's a yeah, there is. There's a shoreline, probably about four feet of of like a uh, like a shore, and then just thick brush. So you, and and right. then, and then the you know the rest of the forest that you've been in, there hasn't been this type of thick brush. Probably because of the amount of water that's right here, and all this, you know, this brush is, has just over time grown around this, grown around this pool. Pardon me, I keep. Breaking. All right, I think what I would have done is, um, I, I want to try to stay as much into the thick brush as possible, and so I would say for most of the.